Shiles and discuss agricultural stats of the United Kingdom. In this presentation, I will discuss the total number of dairy and beef cattle. I will also discuss the number and the pigs per 1,000 people in the United Kingdom. Third, we'll discuss the number of sheep and the sheep per 1,000 people. Fourth, will be the number of poultry and poultry per 1,000 people. Fifth, will be the other livestock. Five, six, will be the number of farm workers, and seventh will be a combination of other plants, such as vegetables, greenhouses, etc. Also, I'm going to attempt a new audio setting, so let me know if the setting is better, worse, no change. slightly decreased from 2018 to 2020 and I want to say at the start for the data you'll see sections of highlighting what the highlighting represents is that the numbers add up to form the total so when I take the total beef herd and the total dairy herd it's the sum of 34 3441 which matches the total so these two, these numbers are kind of grouped together in the highlights. All right. So for the percent of the uh, herd that is dairy, it's 54.72 percent. 2018 increased to 55.08 in 2020. Cattle per 1,000 people, 0.15 decreased to 0.14. either decreased or remained the same. And I got the population data up here. So the population for the United Kingdom was 66,435,550 in 2018. 
can't see the age. 13.04 make it two years, live longer than two years. In 2018, 12.66 live longer than two years in 2020. So for the all-male cattle, it, uh, see the, the numbers go down for less than a year to one to two years to two years or more. Now we get into swine. So, the swine, we see the toes, it comes up with sows and big, gilts and big, and other sows to come up with a total of 410. Now, the percent of the pigs that are sows, 70.49 in 2018 to 73.38 in 2020. The solid majority of the pigs are, in fact, sows. Now for the other breeding pigs. We get into boars being used for service. Gilts intended for first-time breeding. So, for the other, other breeding pigs, the overwhelming majority are uh, uh, gilts intended for first-time breeding. You know, 86.17. 2018 to 88.89 in 2020. Now, when we get into pigs per 1,000 people, you have 0.08 in 2018, still 0.08 in 2020. See, overall, there are far fewer pigs than cattle. Now, we see the chart. See a slight increase in sows. And a very, very slight decrease in gilts and other sows. Alright, now let's get into sheep. So we get into female breeding stock. Use intended for first time breeding or you or sorry use intended for further breeding or slaughter versus use intended for first time breeding. Only 16.66% of the sheep are used intended for first time breeding. And that slightly decreased to 166 for use intended for first time breeding in 2020. Now the sheep per 1,000 people far higher at 0.51, decreased slightly to 0.49 compared to, like, say, the pigs and the cows. And you see the other other lamb, sheep and lambs, so you have lambs under one year old, and then you got rams, and you have other sheep, one and over. So 95% of the flock is under one year old for the lamb, for the other sheep and lambs. It's 94.15 for in 2020. So, put that on a chart for the other sheep and the lambs. Vast, vast majority are under one years old. So very few rams compared to the sheep. Okay. Now, I don't want to be a turkey, but let's talk poultry. All right. So, for the total poultry, I have 188,959. 
increased slightly from 19.03 to 20.05. Now we look at the other poultry population, you see the other poultry is, has, you know, is the highest, followed by the turkeys and the geese and then the ducks. Now we get into the livestock. So these are the goats, the deers, the horses, and then other things such as camels, donkeys, and mules. So these decreased ever so slightly for the other live total. Now the goats increased by four. Farm deer increased by three. The horses decreased by fifteen. And then the combination of camelids, donkeys, and mules increased by six. So for the percent of other livestock, that's a goat. It's 25.84 in 2018 to 26.92 in 2020. Now when you divide that by the thousands per population, you have virtually zero. Such a small number per 1,000 people. The total is 0.01 for all of them. So very few horses, goats. So you see the total. Uh, you see losses are a big one for this. And then, you know, the goats are second. And then typically it's you know, the camels, donkeys, mules are the lowest. Alright, now let's talk about the farm workers. The total number of farm workers was 478 in 2018, decreased to 471 in 2020. Full time, 145, increased by 2 to 147. You got some part time, 152 in 2018 to 153 in 2020. If you want to find out the percent of the workers that are full time, it is. Uh, 30.33 in 2018 to 31.21 in 2020. And farm workers per 1,000 people, again, very, very small, not point, not one. Farm workers per 1,000 people. And you see that graft, again, decreases generally, with the exception of part to part time, increased slightly. And the other full time increased slightly. The other other employees decreased. Now we get into fruits and vegetables. So the total increased slightly from 150 to 152. The orchards decreased by 0.8 from 2018 to 2020. The small fruits decreased by 0.1. Strawberries decreased to 0.3 by 0.3, I should say. Percentage of small fruit that is strawberries, 28.3 in 2018 to 25.71 in 2020. Vegetables for human consumption increased. You want to see the percentage of crops that are vegetables, uh, 77.33 in 2018 to 77.63.
it's uh, the glass house is uh, 28-67-2018, increased to 29-11-2020. Vegetables uh, increased from 2,225 to 2,312. Flowers and foliage, you know, uh, decreased from 465 to 450. And the not in use decreased. So that's good. At least more of the glass house percent, or more of the glass houses are being used. Go down and grab the glass house usage. You can see the vegetables and fruit. Far base the flowers, which that makes sense. If you're going to use it, might as well make it useful for people to eat and not in use. That's good that that's going down. The flower stock population, unfortunately, is decreasing. Well, the hardy stock increased, but the ones grown out in the open in nature decreased, which is slightly uh, sad. So, if you're still with me, I hope that you like and subscribe. If you have any future topics you'd like me to present on, let me know. And if you uh, liked the uh, different audio setting compared to the previous videos, also let me know. Um, this is a stats MR wishing that your efforts are positively correlated with the result.